There is self-deception right there. Because the reality is we all have stuff that we can become clean from. The reason that we want to do this, though, friends, is so that you can see God. You come here wanting to see God, we're giving you the prescription of how to do it. And the third thing is to ask God for forgiveness. Isaiah 118 says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. And so we all need to get the issue settled. Some of us, when we came and put our sin on the cross, in our minds what we're doing is we're taking it back and putting it back in our pocket. And it seems like the, the more grave the sin is to us, the more we punish ourselves. That the person we don't let off the hook more than anyone is ourself. Am I right with that? I think it's really true. And so we punish ourselves, we, we hold it in, and we won't let ourselves off the hook. And so what we're saying is, is God can take the sin away. God will freely receive your confession, and he will wipe the slate clean. That you can leave here with a pure heart. And as you leave here with a pure heart, you will see God in a deeper way. I'm going to have the worship team come up, please. See, what we're saying here is ultimately, sin is what keeps us from seeing God. It's not not being religious enough. Are you catching my drift on that? So, without God's grace, we can truly never become pure of heart. Because who makes us pure? Are you awake out there? <laughs> who makes us pure? God does. It's not by what we do. It's just confessing and receiving God making us clean. It's making things right as the, the Lord, through his grace, purifies our hearts as we confess it before him. We can never be pure by being spiritual enough. You'd have to be perfect, and you ain't going to be perfect. Let me tell you that right now. You can try, but before you leave this door, you're going to fail. I can guarantee you that. And so the path to pur purity, friends, is simply taking that moral inventory, confessing it before God, confessing it to yourself, confessing it to someone that you know and love, and receiving his forgiveness and purity of heart. Then what happens is we begin to see God. I, I really prescribe that you daily do a moral inventory. And if there's anything in your heart that you need to confess before God and before someone else you love, is, is you do that on a daily basis. And then go into reading the scriptures. And then go into t spending time in prayer. Because that's when God gives us his pure heart and we begin to see him and hear his voice. That's when the scriptures come alive to us. And so we have this baptistry here and, and we have uh, people in this church that have come to this point of coming to the realization of their own personal sin and they've confessed it before God and so they are now following the process of becoming baptized. When Peter in Acts 2 got up after he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he gave this great sermon to the people where he said Jesus Christ was the Messiah, the Savior sent by God, and you guys killed him, is what he said basically, and he was buried in the grave and resurrected three days later. And 40 days after that, he ascended and went to heaven. And now we are his messengers of this message of great hope. And the people heard this, and it says they were, they were convicted to the core in their hearts. And they said, Peter, what should we do? And Peter said to repent and be baptized. 
There's just always something that comes after repentance of baptism. That baptism is, is a visual picture of that cleansing of heart. And so these friends that are getting baptized today, we, we are here to celebrate with them that they are making the same confession. So we're going to have the ministry team folks over here uh, to pray for them after they get baptized. And those of you that are going to get baptized, as we talked about Friday night, come and line up over here. And during the worship, pray for these guys as they get baptized. If you know any of them or if you're feeling the Holy Spirit tug on your heart, to come forward and pray for them afterwards because what we really do um, pray for is that uh, like when Jesus was baptized and he came out of the water, this is that the Holy Spirit fell on him like a dove and the Father spoke from heaven, this is my son whom I love. We are praying for the Holy Spirit to come on these people with power after they are baptized. So this is a God moment and let's celebrate and let's worship as these friends get baptized.